All praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right. I also want to say double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who um, taught us the truth, basically, and brought us up in righteousness and showed us the path, you know, and continue in the path themselves. All right. I also want to say, um, Shalom and salutation to the hopeful elect, the Aki out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth, putting their life on the line, man, in their time, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice. As the scripture says, Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well and acknowledge this truth. This is the brother Yaramaya from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. And, um, yeah, basically, we're going to get into, um, some of this Christmas, this, this madness, this so called Christmas, this, this Roman winter solstice. All right, we ain't gonna get into all that, but you know, we gonna get into this Roman winter solstice, this um Saturnalia worship. All right, this witch, this witchcraft. Okay, the Jake, Jake think this stuff is cool, man. This stuff is wicked as all hell. This Christmas coonery, man. This Krampus, this Santa Claus, Satan, Krampus, Saturnalia spirit. That's how, you know, and any of the things I just named, because you can relate Christmas to all of them, but it it nowhere be found in the Bible. All right. You ain't gonna find yeah, the Lord being born a white man on December twenty fifth, all right, and Santa Claus sliding down the chimney. That's 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 wicked as all hell, man. You ain't gonna find that, all right. But you will find when the Lord tell you not to set a tree in your house, which is an idol. Okay, you got a little baby grove. You're putting gifts down. You're picking up the gifts. You basically worshiping the damn tree, man. Like they did. The Lord told you not to do that in the scriptures. Matter of fact, that's 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 wickedness, man. Christmas is wicked as all hell, man. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna start off with that. Okay, because these are not our ways, man. You know, these are not Israelite customs. Like when you when you watch the movie Roots, all right. When Kuta Kid take it off the boat, all right. <clears throat> he 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 he. You know, he had his little little culture that 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 madness we learned in Af so called Africa that um place Africa. Like Islam and stuff like that, you know, which was pushed on us by the Arabs. All right. And, um, but anyway, long story short, the guy Fiddler was supposed to break him. All right. He and they changed his name and everything. But one thing he said when they walking through the, the woods, he was like, um, nigga, I got to have you broke, you know, meaning, you know, learning the American ways. He said, nigga, I got to have you broke by Christmas. No, he said, I got to have you broke. By the master's birthday, one of them. He said, I got to have you broke by the master's birthday. And he said, and Kuta said, what? What's a birthday? He said, nigga, you don't know what that is? You stupid. Really, he was smart because that ain't our tradition. And Fiddler said, nigga, that's the next best thing to Christmas. When the master get all drunk and get to bed rumbling with our winches. And, you know, basically going back there, raping the slaves, raping the men, you know, going back there, getting drunk, being an eater might, being a wicked eater might, but he said Christmas, that's the next best thing, you know, since the master's birthday, they didn't know what birthdays was, they didn't know what Christmas was, or these whole lot of days, man, and these days were witchcraft days, man, and this is, um, Jeremiah 10 and 1, it says, hear ye not the word which Yahweh, hear ye the word, Salakia, Jeremiah 10 and 1, hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So it said, learn not the ways of the heathen, which are the other nations outside the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, um, which are the true Israelites, all right? We just, we adopted these wicked pagan customs through slavery in that movie Roots. That's one of the main movies that prove it. All right, this is uh, uh, Jeremiah 10 and 3. It said, For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut at the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe, they deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree. They cannot speak. They must need to be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also, is it in them to do good? Exactly, because the tree, you know, physically, it can't commit a, a, a sin or, or, or do a work or nothing. But you committing sin by going to worship it. That's why when you, you know, going to put it up in your house 
and commemorate something to them. The scripture said in Isaiah 8 and 20 to the Lord, to the testimony. They speak not according to this, this is because there's no light in there, man. You got guys, and like I seen this dickhead Frederick Price actually going to the scripture in the Christian church and say, see, the Christmas tree can't do good or evil, so it's okay to celebrate Christmas. No, hell no, man. They don't look, look, the Ten Commandments, man, and tells you. Uh, you shouldn't have any other powers before you have a Bashim and Shah. You have a Bashim and Shah totally forbids idolatry. Celebrating Christmas is idolatry. All right. This is uh, Exodus 20 and 1. It says, And and, and Yahweh spake all these words, saying, I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Okay. And that goes back to worshiping. Um, Saturnalia, all right. It goes back to um the, that Krampus spirit, that spirit of Nimrod, you know. Not Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but our people are lost, man. They they have no clue, and I'm saying these things. I can go into them, but I really want you know to look it up if you deny. It. All right, Exodus twenty and four. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, or a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third generation of them that hate me, I shall have mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So that's, that's wicked, man. And that's against the Lord's commandments to, to take any image or anything or to worship it and commemorate it. All right, that, that stuff has nothing to do with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And for you wicked Negroes out there, especially you Negroes and you Spigroes, man, y'all love talking about it's for the kids, man. The scriptures, now fuck them kids, man. You supposed to teach the kids the way, man. They can't teach you a mother crap. Hey, I got my, my oldest son is 10, 11 years old, man. He ain't never, ever in his life dealt with that madness, man. On my behalf, you know. We ain't never dealt with that madness. None of none of my children dealing with that madness, man. That's wicked. You know, I, I was blessed to actually know the truth when he was born. But um, this is Isaiah, not Salaki. This is Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 33 and 19. It says, Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee while thou livest, and give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee, and thou entreat for the same again. All right, because you're going to have to keep doing that shit. Well, I'm just doing it for the kids. I'm just doing it for the kids. Matter of fact, let me start at 18. Surah 33 and 18. Hear ye, O great men of the people, and hearken with your ears, ye rulers of the congregation. So the man lays down the law. All right, the man of the Lord. All right, verse uh, Ecclesiastes and Apocrypha, or the book we call Surah 33 and 19. Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee while thou livest, and give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee, and thou retreat for the same again. As long as thou livest and have breath in thee, give not thyself over to any. For it is better that thy children should seek to thee, and that thou shouldest not, and thou shouldest stand, to, then that thou sh shouldest stand to their courtesy. And all thy words keep to thyself the preeminence, and leave not a stain in thy honor, man. And Salak, you don't say man, but it, uh, verse 22, and all thy Works keep to thyself preeminence and leave not a stain in thine honor. Because, hey, man, you, stand, you, you got to stand for something in this truth, man. And we don't stand for letting our children and our women have lordship over us, man. We the men of the Lord, the mighty men of valor, man, the righteous, you know, hopeful elect, according to the scriptures, you know, Lord willing, you know, we the elect, man. We, we, don't, we don't go for that damn madness, man. We lay down the law, all right? We the princes, the kings, the judges of the earth, you have watching now which I will it. This is uh, Jeremiah 4 and um, verse Salaki. Salaki. Where is that? Come, this is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 21. Matter of fact, Jeremiah 5 and 20 said, Declare this in the house of Jacob, which are the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now, hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, and which have ears and 
and hid not. Fear ye not me, said the Lord, said Yahweh. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass, that it cannot pass it, and through the waves thereof that toss themselves, ye, yet they cannot prevail, though they though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it. You know, the, so the Lord, the Lord set up, you know, and made everything. He's the creator. He's the creator of heaven and earth. That's who, you know, we are supposed to fear. All right. And he said the people who are eyes that cannot see, because they, they, Jake don't get this message, man. Our people are dumb as hell and wicked as hell. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to the chapter before that to prove a point. They, they, but they can't see and they can't hear, man. And it says the same thing in Isaiah 2. Uh, in the book of Isaiah, this is Jeremiah 4. And uh, verse um, 22, it said, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. This is to do good, but they, they have no knowledge of this, man. They they wise to do evil, man. They they like wickedness, man. Christmas, Xmas, you know, cross, cross, cross out the truth, you know, <laughs> Xmas, you know, that's that's evil, man. However you want to put it, man. In whatever way you want to put it, man, it's wicked, man. Even if you want to say it's talking about the Lord. The, the scriptures don't tell you that's the Lord's birthday. The scriptures don't tell you the Lord was a white man that was born in some, some man. Some man. It's fucking. Then he come to save the Edomites, man, in the whole world, man. The scriptures say that he gave, he was going to give him the father, the uh, throne of his father, David. All right? He was born through sex. That's why the scriptures say, according to the flesh, whom Yahweh shot came. All right? That, either way you want to put it, man, that the whole Christmas lie and the madness behind it is wicked as hell. This is Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God thy, or thy power, I will also forget thy I will also forget thy children. And that's what's happening. That's why the most high destroying two thirds of Israel. But that Christmas coonery, man, you get it out your damn head, man. Head to hell with Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and all these so called holidays. You got Leviticus the twenty third chapter. Well all the holidays, if you're a black Latin well, not holidays, the holy days, not the whole lot days, the holy days that you're supposed to be commemorating and acknowledging right here in the Holy Scriptures, which is our heritage. So with that being said, all praise and honor and glory due to you. How about shit me? How about Double honors to the elders of great millstone. Taught us this truth and shallow one. Salutation to the hopeful elect.